Hi, my name is Michael Wawio Jr. I'm a filmmaker, stroke actor, and this is my story. What inspired me? It was, was um, my dad, basically. Uh, growing up from film circles, I, I grew up around him and taking me on sets because he had to first finish work and then I had to play around the sets and be told to keep quiet we're filming. So the moments when I would sit down and literally watch them do what they're doing was remarkable for me. It was one of the moments I drew my inspiration. Hostel comes in and we audition. They have this call out for auditions and I take up the part as Brother Joan and since then I really haven't looked back. It's been uh, fluctuating. I can say great, um, but then also there, there, there have been those low moments. Acting is a, is a business, you know, it's not just part of an industry, it's a business. So how do you respect this business? The, the only way you can respect this business is by growing, equipping yourself. I have worked on Sarah's Notebook, very remarkable. It's a, it's, it's a Spanish film, it's on Netflix. And uh, Master of the Jungle as well, I was doing set design on that. Sharp Sewali, I worked with him on um, 27 Guns. Well, there's also the, uh, the Girl in the Yellow Jumper, which has been um, taken up on Netflix. 16 rounds because I play a PSTD soldier, post stress traumatic disorder. Queen of Katwe, yeah. I was in the locations department with my dad. He was head of lo the locations department. I was his assistant. It was one of those um, amazing, awesome jobs that you meet with Peter. You learn from how she works, her methodology, her process. And then this blind date. Basically, the things that I've worked on with Lukman Ali have been pretty much exciting. I have won three Best Actor awards. Um, UFF, I won Best Actor for Yat Madit in 2017. I won Best Actor for a Dog Story. 2016 and also Better Thrones, Best Supporting Actor. For me, those are milestones I don't take for granted. They really humble me. In Nigeria, they passed the law that 70% of local of, 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 of shows that air on TV should be local content. But that same law was passed down here, but how many people have really, how many TV stations have really gone up and taking up local content for us to have that platform, you know. It's more of you bring your stuff and you pay us for having you on our show. Yet abroad, they, you're paid for your show being on TV. And that's why I'm very thankful for Power Magic. You know, it, uh, it has given Ugandan filmmakers a platform. Our quality is better in the near future. Get so we have better schooled actors, we have cinematographers, sound designers, all from these spaces. The reason all these other industries are growing, I'll tell you for, 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 a, for a bit of truth, is because they have these spaces. They have these places where a filmmaker will go and pay for his time and learn. And that is because their governments have come in and helped. But we don't have that, so it's a bit hard for a filmmaker in Uganda to compete favorably with a land filmmaker globally. It's a, it, it becomes so, sort of unfair comp <laughs> comparison. My advice to an actor, an, as an aspiring actor like myself out there who just wants to grow their craft is, one, have, have the passion for it. If you don't have the passion for it, there's nothing you're going to, to try and show to the world, you know. Have the passion, have the resilience, don't, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Because you can. You're a winner, so if you think you're a winner, come out, stick your head out to be counted, 
look for the work, collaborate with so many people that you, that you think will take you to that next level that you want to be at, and most of all, believe in God.